Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's May 8th, 2020, and I am many, many days into sheltering in place due to the virus, as are many. So I thought I'd do something a bit different and share with the people who follow my channel my studio and workspace. It's not fancy, it's just me walking through my studio and office and showing you where I create my art and where I make my videos. So let's get started. Welcome to my studio. It's Friday morning, May 8th, and it's a little past 6 a.m. And I thought I'd give you a tour of my studio where I do all my artwork. I'll just do a quick pan around. This isn't anything fancy. I'm going to do this on the fly as I walk around. So here you can get a, a good look at my studio. And here is my uh, space that I do all my artwork in. This is where I paint. And you can see I like to work at a, a fairly high drafting table. I sit in a high chair that has some wheels on it. And I like to work with a side table. I've set my uh, studio up so that I have a few different work areas. And I try to keep all the equipment that I need in each work area available. So here at my uh, drafting table, I, I keep it flat. And I use a, a foam wedge here to prop up my uh, gator board but that I mount my uh, work on. Here I keep, I always keep an eraser, a pencil. I have a pen there for when I do sketches, a pencil sharpener, and my controls for all my uh, video equipment and some, some music. As I said, I like to have a side table. So here on the right, I have my ceramic palette, two large containers of water, one for dirty water, one for clean water, some spray bottles, scraper, I have a rag that I maintain the moisture on my brush, and then I have an assortment of brushes. Looks like I have a lot of brushes, but there's actually multiple duplicates here. Sometimes when I'm working with warm and cool colors or compliments, I don't want to contaminate the, the brush with the other color, so I'll use another brush of the same size. And I like to arrange mine in order of size from small to large, and on the end I keep some special purpose brushes. That's just how I like to work. If I come back around here, I have a tablet. Uh, that's where I normally uh, look at my reference material. And sometimes I'll put a laptop there. On the left side, I have a shelf right beside where I work. And this is where I keep some of my general art supplies. Masking uh, materials, my hair dryer, tissues, and just various um, items that I use in my painting process. Here I have a, a bin full of paint tubes. This is actually uh, paint that I don't use currently on my palette. These are uh, paints that I've built up over time and I, I actually don't have any of these on my palette. Speaking of palettes, I have some extra palettes st stacked there. Some, another ceramic one and some plastic ones. One of those plastic ones is what I use when I go outside. I have some sketchbooks. This is where I keep uh, paper pre-cut so I have it available when I want it. I work in standard sizes. This is a quarter sheet, eight by 10, and uh, five and a half by seven. So I keep those cut in a little stack here so that when I want one of those sizes of paper, I don't have to stop and cut it. I have a tab array here. It has some batteries charging that I use for my video equipment. And in there I have some extra brushes, masking supplies, markers, and things like that. And then, if you look up a little bit, I have some equipment that you wouldn't typically have unless you were doing video. So, this is a camera that I have to film when I'm painting. And I have uh, a variety of LED lights that have uh, 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 temperature adjustable capabilities. They can be cool or warm and dimming capabilities so I can turn down how bright they are. Over here is another camera, this video camera that I use to film my palette, and some more lighting. 
my cameras are actually mounted on uh, microphone booms. They work pretty well. And when I film, I generally film upside down and then I uh, uh, correct that, turn it around in my editing software. That way I don't get my head in the way when I'm trying to film. So that's my, that's my painting station and I have everything I need to do to, to create my watercolors there. Then if I come over this way, I have a framing and matting table. This is a table that I built and it has carpet on it and a mat cutter. So anytime I'm matting or framing, I do it here. I mount my paper to my board here when I'm getting ready to do paintings. And also, if I have anything to ship, I do it at this table. And right beside it, I have the supplies I need to do those tasks to, to frame, to mount my paper. And I have shipping supplies there. Down here, I have my plein air gear. This is actually a soccer case. You know, it has a little chair that folds out, but it stores quite a bit of a equipment in it. And I use that little travel easel that's laying in the corner. I keep a vacuum here because when you're going to uh, work on framing and working with plexiglass, you don't want a bunch of little particles in this carpet to uh, attract to the plexiglass. So every time when I'm going to do some framing, I'm, uh, I generally vacuum this surface so I don't have any of that around. Over here is my uh, sink and I have a nice counter area to work at with some cup cabinets for storage. So that works out quite well. And if I come over here, sitting on top of my cabin to paint is Alexa. Say good morning. Alexa, say hi. Hello. See, that's my Alexa. So I listen to music through that. But in this cabinet is where I keep the paints that I currently have in my, in my palette. So you can see that I try to keep my, my drawers of paint stocked. And they're arranged in the order that the paints are on my palette. And I also, I overlooked, I do store my paper underneath my uh, framing bench. I have some paintings in here. And I store my paper. And I currently have probably about 70 sheets. And... Uh, keeps it dry and flat so that works out very well that's where I have my full sheets of paper and then if we come over here I have another table and this table is where I'll, I'll do some masking sometimes if I feel it's gonna get a little too messy and I don't want to get it on my drafting table I'll come over here and work at this station this is where I keep my supplies for my workshop here some matting and plexiglass in here over here on this shelf, I have all my uh, gator boards. I have full-size ones for full sheets, smaller ones for half sheet and smaller. And I store some exercises for workshops here. I keep uh, matting and uh, bagging supplies here. I work in standard sizes again, so um, I don't have to worry about cutting those. And then over here, I keep this station set up to photograph my artwork. So I have a, a set of lights here, LE adjustable lights, and a camera. And whenever I want, I can just come over here and uh, put a, a gator board up there with a painting on it and take a quick uh, photograph of it. And I don't have to set anything up to do that. Over here on my wall, this is a Carlton Plummer painting that I, I like. I, I uh, got it one time when I was visiting Maine and I was I stopped by his studio and I love his artwork so if you get a chance look up Carlton Plummer. And that's my studio. This is where I do all my work. Next I'll show you my office where I do all the editing and sometimes I spend too much time there. I like to spend a little bit more time than I do on my uh, paintings but it takes a lot of time and effort to create some of these videos. Now I'm going to continue on. I'm in my office. This is where I do all my planning, handle all my business, 
and this is where I do all my uh, film editing. So I have a, a variety of planning boards that I use here up on my wall. I have a big screen there that uh, I have Chrome just broadcast images to. Uh, every now and then I'll put a video up there to watch something, but I don't use it that often. It just gives me some atmosphere. This is a table that I, I work at. I like to use these long pads to plan my lesson plans and videos. And I keep that material there. I have some, some books and notebooks here, electronic devices. Here's something that I received in the fall from uh, the state of Ohio House of Representatives signed by a couple of the representatives and the Speaker of the House congratulating me on uh, my achievements in the last year's Ohio Watercolor Society show. So I was honored to receive that. I got that in the fall. And when I come over here, this is where I do all my uh, video editing and business. You can see I have a tablet there, and, uh, a laptop with an extra screen. I do some planning there in my planner. Here I have another laptop and a monitor, microphone. This is where I do my video editing. Another planning board, and I always keep this up just to remind myself of the elements of design and the principles of design. This is my list of workshops that has been really taking a hit because of all the cancellations because of the virus. But I spend a lot of time here. So that's my studio tour. Like I said, it's nothing fancy, but I thought people might enjoy a walk through my studio to see where I spend a lot of my time, especially in these days of sheltering in place and staying at home.